So, is your, your sun gear in mesh? Now, you can pull that planetary gear set apart if you need to so that you can see, so you can make sure that you get your, your sun gear splined in there. I'll run this side, okay? Because that should be. Yeah, it looks okay. pretty close. So, what's this shaft here? Input. Input from what? Motor. Engine. Okay, from your, your ICE. Oh, yeah. It's blind in there. It's in? Okay. Yes. Okay, that thing's angering me. Okay, we'll just set it aside. I did. Yeah. Okay. Don't get, don't get too upset. Sure. Okay. What's going to go over here on this side? Now, take, your, take all those final drive gears and just kind of put them off to the side. If you want to take your chain, because okay. your chain is going to go on here. But then the other gears, we don't need to line all those up. But we'll put that chain there so we remember that's where the chain goes. And you notice how that chain is kind of stiff, right? Yeah. If you'll notice in here, there's a there's a little there's a little spring in here to provide interference between all those links, just to keep oh. to keep it kind of tense or you know, tensioned. Take your take that cover, move it off to the side because we don't need that for right now. Okay. Move your differential. Let's get this thing over here. Oh. Oh my God. Is it barely? Does it matter which way it goes in? Um, I mean, yeah, it does. No, it so does. which way does it go? <laughs> Straight in. That's on top? Yeah, it is. This the your your winding connections are on top. Yep, and that's on top. Because remember, this has got your ring here for your your resolver. Okay, I just I just you made just, a, uh, you just a permanent magnet you just gear. Just welded those together. Pull it apart. Ugh. Okay. This is the one that's gonna thump. Yeah, watch your fingers. Just like that. That'd be all right. I mean, it'll probably scare you a little bit, but just don't let your fingers get down in between. <laughs> Okay. Now. Very manly of you. <laughs> well, this thing's sharp. Right? Yeah, it is. That's, yeah, that's that thing sharp. is sharp too. Yeah. Okay. Now, stand this up on its side. Okay. So you can see the the splines here on our rotor for MG2 fit into the splines here that are essentially, what is this essentially attached to? I mean, we've got this little plate a here. Ring. Okay, yeah, that's that's attached to your ring gear because you can see here's your planets right there. It's got little tiny teeth. And so this, there's lots of them and they're, they're, they're just really strong and it's just a Prius. So that Prius. fits in there like Prius? that. He didn't mean I just meant, <laughs> you know what I meant. Take it. It's okay. <laughs> now, hold on a minute. Yeah, hold on. Chill. Which way do we want to hook these? Which way do we want to put these together? Are you going to lift that up and set it on top of all that? Heck no. Would you rather, would you rather lift this up I'm and set it on top of all that? Over. Or would you rather lay this on its side and put them that's, together? That's what side I was by almost side. thinking. Okay. Well, You're the engineer. figure it out. Take something simple and complicated. God. Okay, I'm going to think about this. We can come back on... Um, not this, not this coming Monday. But after spring break. The Monday after. after. Spring break, and then you'll have. You'll have suggestion. it all worked out. Worked out? No. Suggestion? Yes. Boop. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is another scary. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Okay. Put a block under. There you go. I'll stick a block of wood underneath there. A little much. Okay. Now the chain is it's on that sprocket. So that's that's really it, right? I mean this almost looks like what we were looking at in those those pictures. 
one of the things that people always get confused of is they um, they think that the planetary gear set is like the output so that your output passes through the planetary gear set to the wheels so so that you know they 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 think that that planetary gear set manipulates the the gear ratio okay to the wheels is that true or even possible no not at all because mg2 okay this is our primary traction motor for all intents and purposes on the prius this is the motor that drives this vehicle down the road okay this is the motor that drives the vehicle down the road the splines back down in here were in mesh with the outer this outer shell which is our which is our ring gear mm -hmm. and then it is um, on the other side or the other half of the the shell here we have our chain which goes down to our final drive gear so there is a gear reduction ratio in the final drive like there is on every other car but there is no gear reduction at all between mg2 and the wheels there's none so there's no transmission meaning there's no there's no variable gear ratios so then what is the planetary gear set doing well what it is doing is it is blending motor drive from this from our input shaft here which is going to be splined into our our drive plate or you know like the dual mass flywheel like I keep mentioning that's going to come from the engine and the rotation of this shaft will be blended with the motivation being provided by MG2 and then we are going to split the power coming from the engine here between helping MG2 and then coming back through the sun gear to drive MG1. But that's the way all of that looks together. No transmission. How does it control that split? How does it control just, that split? Just by the ratio of how much, well essentially the three are yeah, depending on the the demands of the three. So if this one here is 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 running as a generator, mm -hmm. the gasoline engine can run, and we can vary the speed of the gasoline engine. If the gasoline engine needs to drive this quickly, then it's automatically going to take torque away from helping to drive the sun gear. Okay. If the faster we spin that engine the faster the little planet pinions in there are going to rotate and the faster this will rotate. Well, it's still providing force because the pinions are walking around the inside of that sun gear. So it's still providing torque to that final drive. And you just keep this one spinning at the same speed. But this one, well, this one is just spinning at the speed of whatever, of whatever we're, this we're running the vehicle at. at. Yeah. Okay, so that's all controlled by it's the, action, the action in the inverter. She does her own thing. It's, it's, it's not really that complicated. It's pretty incredible that this is essentially everything that's inside the transaxle of the Prius because people expect to find unicorns. unicorns and there's no there's no trace of unicorns. You can't even find any of their droppings in there. In the inverter you find unicorn droppings. Mm -hmm. But uh, there wasn't even, there wasn't even a, here. there wasn't even a hobbit in here. There was no hobbits no there was no nope, nothing like that. So pretty cool. So we're gonna take this now. We'll take this now and we can start reassembling and there's a few other things we'll do along the way and we'll talk about this some more as we reassemble.